Goodbye, Oregon. Hello, Idaho. Earlier this month, voters in five Oregon counties approved an initiative to leave their state and join Idaho. That makes a total of seven Oregon counties that have now approved secession. More may be on the way. So what's going on in Oregon? Well, joining us is Mike McCarter. Mr. McCarter is the founder of the Move Oregon's Border Political Action Committee. Mike, we know that the rural lifestyle and attitudes of Eastern Oregonians is much different than people living in, say, Portland or along the Oregon coast, but secession, really? Why has it come to that? Well, it, it's a situation where Move Oregon's Border is a grassroots movement that is based on, on faith, family, and freedom. There's a dramatic difference between rural Oregon and urban Oregon. So we decided that probably the best way to do this is to start getting a ballot measure put in to each county in rural Oregon to find out if people really have a desire to start looking at the process of leaving Oregon because they've left us, they don't care about us, and becoming part of the state of Idaho. So this is just the beginning process with it. Well, I want us to look at one of your maps. This month, people in Sherman, Lake Grant, Baker, Mallard counties, and uh, they joined Union in Jefferson counties in voting to merge with Idaho. But I guess initiatives in mm -hmm. Douglas and uh, Wallowa counties uh, failed. Why is that? Well, initially, when we started launching the, the petition request and getting this program going or getting this movement going, uh, you know, we didn't have any idea that we're going to have to deal with COVID issues. It's a brand new message, a grassroots movement with no political support, no financial support other than the people. And to get the message out in the very beginning for the first election was a problem. And we realized that. Uh, now we've, we've, we've overcome that and we know how to reach the people and how to get the message out. And I think uh, the results of that you see in the last five counties, the way that they voted. Yeah, the pandemic has affected everything. So what are your future plans? More ballot initiatives in other rural counties? If so, which ones? What are you doing to assure a positive response there? Well, we're moving forward with more counties. We have another 10 counties lined up. Uh, looks like we'll probably have another four or five on the next election. At the same time, we're asking all of our counties who have approved this measure to start working with their county commissioners and get the message passed up to the state legislators that cover their counties. Um, the, the vote in the counties has no real leverage other than a vocal voice to the state legislature. Now we need to get it put into the state legislature and get the discussion started with Idaho. Well, I, I was going to ask you about that because I know these ballot initiatives are non-binding. So how likely are your elected officials to agree to allow secession? Wouldn't the Oregon legislature and the governor have to approve it or can those counties just bolt for Idaho? No, there's a, there's a, there's a process involved, and, and we're following the state statutes, the U.S. statutes on changing borders right down the line. We're trying not to do anything uh, that, that would create a problem. So, yes, it has to go through the state legislature. Then, who knows where, which avenue that it takes after that. But the most important part is to get that discussion started in the state legislature. It's already started in the Idaho legislature. And they're looking forward to, to starting those discussions. So now, because Oregon's legislature is still in session or recessed or however you want to call it, uh, it's been very hard to communicate with, with the legislatures where they're dealing with, with the issues that are going on right now. Well, you'd mentioned, I, I guess the governor of Idaho has already said he would welcome Oregon counties into the gem state. And why not, right? More tax revenue for them. But wouldn't the Idaho legislature also have to approve the merger? And how would that affect relations with the Beaver State? Well, again, it, it's a it's a three campaign process going on right now, educating and getting more of the Oregon counties involved, informing and getting the Oregon legislature and the representatives involved, and keeping the Idaho people informed on what's going on and, and legislatively what they have to do. Uh, Governor Little has, has been very kind. Um, we've got a good relationship with a lot of the legislators in Idaho. 
we I spoke to him um, personally uh, about a month ago in at the Idaho legislature, about a third of the senators and the representatives. And they were watching very closely how this vote was going to come about on May 18th. And now the message is out that people are uh, unhappy with the way Northwest Oregon is treating rural Oregon and want out from underneath it. Well, it sounds to me like you're going to have more of an uphill fight with your own legislature and your own governor there. Uh, they're not really uh, dominated by people from the east of Oregon. Okay, Mike McCarter, your founder of Move Oregon's Border. Uh, Mike, please keep us posted on how this secession effort progresses in Oregon. Thank you for being with us. Absolutely, and thank you for giving us the chance to share this message.